Hello, Stephen Carver. Some of you might know me. I used to work uh, in the oil business uh, for a company called KBR, part of the Halliburton organisation at the time. There I worked on design, I worked on commissioning projects, I worked on construction sites. Uh, eventually I was working for the CEO as head of corporate strategy, looking at how we're going to manage uh, in uncertain future times. What I do now is I work at Cranfield, one of the top business schools, and I help with research into project and program management. And I still work with oil companies and look at their issues. Now, the oil business is complicated, but it is now moving into a new phase of complexity. Now, without wishing to turn this into a lecture, there are three types of complexity that we consider. First of all, there is structural complexity. How many bits and pieces are there to the project? And you do this very well in the oil business. You use techniques called work breakdown structures, and then you use critical path analysis and earn value to actually control them. The second and increasingly difficult area of complexity is what we call emergent complexity. And that's how much everything's changing as you're trying to do the project itself. This you can control using strict change control, but what happens if uh, the change is very fast moving? How does that impact on the project? And the third type of complexity is what we call socio-political, which sounds rather grand, but what it means is the management of the stakeholders on the projects, both internal and external. And that's the area that the oil business uh, is having to face up to, because now there are so many more stakeholders, and they are changing as you do the project. So this webinar, we're going to talk about the three types of complexity, and we're going to look at a wonderful simulation that can actually let you practice your skills at structural and emergent, and most importantly, at socio-political level as well. It's quite a challenge. I've played it myself many times, and it's tough, but it really does make you think about how it gets applied on your projects and how people behave on real projects. So I very much look forward to seeing you on the webinar. Thank you.